everyone's talking about AI, but have you actually used it? Most people I talk to still have it. So in this video, I'll talk about how you can use AI, specifically ChatGPT, at work and in your life. So last week I was at LinkedIn Studios in California, recording a new course for LinkedIn Learning about AI for management and how managers can use ChatGPT to be more efficient in leading their teams and in growing their own careers. And I'll give a sneak peek in this video. Now, why I ask, have you used AI? And ChatGPT is one form of generative AI. There's all sorts of tools you can use, but I like to keep it simple. And so if you haven't ever used ChatGPT, the number one question I get is, how do you actually get to it? And so you can go to chat.openai.com and you can create a free account. They also have paid accounts that are faster and have some more features, but you can create a free account. I generally recommend people use their personal email address because two reasons. ChatGPT and most AI tools are not a diary nor an encyclopedia. So it's not confidential, it's not a diary, and it's also not an encyclopedia, so you shouldn't rely on it for facts, like tell me, you know, the state capitals. You might be able to ask that, and maybe we'll do that in this video, um, but it's generally not for facts, but it can help you to make you more efficient. And so what does that actually mean? Like I've been amazed at people I talk to that have never used it, and when I get out, and there's an app, so I created an account, and I have an app, the app is called ChatGPT, and I'm like, okay, let's show you how to use it. So quickly, how to use it uh, for life purposes. Let's start there. So uh, some of the ways I use it, because now I'll have, I'll have my kids. I'll say, okay, we're going to um, Florida for a long weekend to visit grandparents. So go type in to ChatGPT, what do I need to pack as like a 10 year old, 10 year old kid boy, say for, um, for this trip to Florida. And ChatGPT will generate things like X amount of pajamas, toothbrush, these things. And so we go through the checklist and do that. And so that's just one use that I have. So let's say, you, let's say um, separate from packing, like it's dinner time. And I'm like, what can I make for dinner? I can open my fridge and I'm like, okay, I have some chicken thighs. I have some butter. I have some cheese. I have broccoli and green beans. Like type in some things and say, can you make a creative recipe that's easy to make? Like ChatGPT will give you these different recommendations and tell you how to make it. Again, as I say, ChatGPT is not an encyclopedia, but I found it to be really helpful for things like recipes. And so when you're entering things, it's called prompts. So there's like a little window at the bottom where you enter these things. And what it generates are called outputs. And so when I start talking to people about that, they often will start playing around. And I'm like, think of all sorts of things. Like if you're like people are like, oh, I have to cancel plans with a friend. I'm like, okay, well, do you, then I'm like, Ashley, do you really have to cancel plans? Because often we don't spend enough time with our friends, blah, blah. But if you actually have to, and you're like, I don't know how to say it, tr try it in ChatGPT, right? Like if I have to cancel, how can I do it and not feel like a jerk? And so you can see what it generates. And you can also say things like, okay, make it shorter. Or, oh, I'm talking to my, um, my relative, um, which then you really want to be careful about canceling because you're probably going to hear back on that. Um, but you can have it just... And, and it's not a replacement for who you are, your voice, but it can often make things a lot easier and a lot more efficient. And so those are some of the ways. So I encourage you to try it and play around with it in like kind of life things. The second is thinking about it at work. Now in the course in LinkedIn, I'll talk about, like I said, managing your teams um, and growing your own career. So two examples. Um, one is for like one-on-one -on -one meetings. I will ask people and in my LinkedIn course on daily habits for effective people management. And I think some videos here, I talk about the importance of one-on-one -on -one time and how important that is for your employees. And if you're not a manager, um, how important it can be to have that dedicated time to like run through your list of questions with your manager. I generally would feel a million times better ap after that and at least have a plan. But if you're a manager and you're like, my one-on-ones just feel so boring, like constantly it's like, okay, what's on your mind? What's on your mind? We'll type into ChatGPT, like, what are ways I can shake up my one-on-one -on -one meetings, one-on-one uh, -on -one meeting agendas, and it'll give you examples. You can, sometimes you may look and be like, okay, I don't like numbers two and three. Oh, I like four, five, and six. And so often it'll at least give you ideas that you can bring into those meetings. Again, and if you're an employee, you can say that. So not a manager, but how can I better prepare for one-on-one -on -one meetings with, with my boss? And like I said, even though it's it's not a diary, so you wouldn't want to say, my boss named X at X company. Like, you don't want to put that, generally. But it's like, let's say you're like in um, account management. Like as an account manager who's joined a company three months ago, you know, what 
What are things I should do to prepare for one-on-ones? And tweaking that a bit can, can help. So as a manager or not, um, there's ways that it can help you be more efficient and give you some of those ideas. And some people will say, well, isn't it just a glorified like search engine? But if you if you go and, and type that into like um, a Google, you, you'll definitely find articles. But from the efficient standpoint, if you're just in the moment and you're like, oh, I'm preparing, I've found ChatGPT to be really helpful in coming up with those just on, on the fly. And so the other is, I talk about growing in your careers. So also like as a manager, thinking about, okay, if I'm for the first time I'm going to be talking to like a board of directors or C-suite. Like I've done these things and I know how easy it is to lose sleep getting ready for that. Like everyone gets nervous of different things in their career. And so whether it's how, how can I prepare for that or how can I combat my nerves for that? Um, or even if you're um, a team member, you're not a manager and you're just, you're doing a first presentation or speaking up in front of your team and you're nervous asking like what are ways I can like, best prepare for that and so what ChatGPT will generate often I call them like frameworks like it's like think about these things here's different phrasing and if it generates like different things to think about and you're like okay I'd love some talking points you can always you know add could I have talking points of how to say that and you can always adjust it to your voice but so overall again the course coming up is, is aimed for managers but I, but it's it's going to literally be like how to get to ChatGPT, things to keep in mind and have a lot of prompts and even a downloadable file with all the prompts we're going to use in the course. But I really encourage people to get started with AI, really specifically with ChatGPT. Um, again, it can be a free account, but to get started. And when you start playing around with it, like frequently people will say, oh, I'm on this interview panel. I'm interviewing things for this role. I'm like, ask ChatGPT for examples of interview questions. Like it's not a replacement for, for who you are in your voice, but it can just make things easier and bring up things that you haven't thought about and it's readily available. Unlike when you text people or you're like, I need my boss now and people people can't always come at a moment's notice. But ChatGPT is, is always there. And so hopefully this helps give some ideas of how you can use ChatGPT to be more efficient at life and at work. Um, definitely stay tuned for the LinkedIn learning course coming out here, probably May, June. Um, but definitely drop any other comments or questions below.